for years I was doing low budget shows, low budget movies, and I've always wanted to send a resume to NBC. And finally, I'd say 92, 93, I got up the nerve to send my resume to NBC. Like I said, I put together a package, and uh, I think the lady that was the, who was in charge was here at the time was Lillian Hickson was was the person I sent it to. I still remember her name because I would call her every month and go, "Hi, Lillian, it's Louie. Um, is there any openings? Is there anything that you guys may no?" And it's also a union show, so it's a union shop. So I wasn't in the union yet. So I would call every you know, like, is there is there anything I can do? Is the I you know uh, is there anything in, on SNL or any other shows or anything I could do? And, no, I'm sorry, no. I think I bothered her for like a year, a year and a half. Every month I would call her up. Finally, she was she got tired of me calling. She had me meet with um, George Mendez, who was the head of the studio, ran the studio operations. And he, I brought, came in, my portfolio was so nervous. Oh, my God. I still remember being so scared and nervous. It was my first. I'm like, this could make or break everything, you know. Because it's a union. I, I can't work because I can't. I'm not in the union. So I walk into his office. I'm showing him my portfolio. And he looked at my book. And he was like, well... You know, are you in the union? And I'm like, all right, well, no, I'm not in the union. I was like, I can't. I told him, I said, I can't get in the union because I can't, because w- I don't work. I can't work because I'm not in the union, so I have no way to, to do anything. And he's like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the opportunity. I'm going to let you get, a, get your days in so you can, we'll try and find slots for you to do stuff and so we can get you your days. So little by little, like whenever they needed a disguise on the Phil Donahue show, if somebody needed a beard, a prosthetic nose, somebody didn't want to be recognized, they would call me in to come in and do a nose or a beard or some facial hair on somebody. So I just came in and uh, did some disguises on the Phil Donahue show. And I think one episode I actually got to disguise Phil because he wanted to walk in with his audience and not be recognized. So I think I put a mustache and a beard or, and a wig on him or something. And he walked in with the crowd. It was kind of fun. But that was my first my first step into NBC and SNL. I remember I was they let me go into the old NBC lab at the time to see if there was anything I needed to run to if I if I could uh, to run some of the pieces there. And back then it was on the seventh floor. It was so that was here. At that 30 was Rock. here at Thirty Rock. I think I came in one day. I was like they let me come into the NBC lab and I was just like in awe. 